Hello, hello, hello. Uh, my name is Mark Janard Jr. And if you're new here, I do cyber related videos. Please feel free to relax and enjoy the content. Please like this video, share this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I have a lot of juicy cyber attacks that I cover. So let's get right into it. Today, we're going to talk about a type of ransomware attack called Ryuk. So without further ado, story time. So Ryuk is a type of ransomware that that was reportedly created by the hacker group Wizard Spider. According to Trend Micro, in 2019, Ryuk demanded the highest ransom of 12.5 million dollars. And in total, Ryuk netted roughly 150 million by the end of 2020. Ryuk first reportedly appeared in mid to late 2018. In 2018, the New York Times reported that Tribune Publishing had been infected by Ryuk, which disrupted printing in San Diego and Florida. The New York Times and the Wall Street Journal shared a printing facility in Los Angeles. Why does that matter? It matters because that caused delays in the Saturday editions of the newspapers. So Ryuk is a variant of the Hermes ransomware and tops the list as the most dangerous ransomware attack. In CrowdStrike 2020 a Global Threat Report, Ryuk accounts for three of the 10 largest ransom demands of the year. One being 5.3 million, the second 9.9 .9 million, and the last 12.5 million. Ryuk encrypts files such as photos, videos, databases, and documents. Basically all the data that you care about. It does this using AES-256 encryption. The symmetric encryption keys are then encrypted using asymmetric RSA-40. 96. Companies affected by Ryuk are Sopra Steria, which is a billion dollar French IT services firm, Universal Health Service Services, a Fortune 500 healthcare company with hospitals in the US and UK, the Oregon Sky Lakes Medical Center, and the Lawrence Health System. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you how to perform a Ryuk ransomware attack from the perspective of the attacker and victim. We're going dark. All right, all right. So we're gonna get into it. This is the Ryuk ransomware attack. We're gonna start with the perspective of the attacker. So let's do it. So we will be showing the source code of the Ryuk ransomware. it is it's possible to see the code uh, that's going to be in the, the encryption function any moment now any moment now any moment now yes so this is the Ryuk uh, source code, the ransomware source code, source code, sorry. You can see the using function up top. So just so you know, later on in the video, there's going to be a link. This is what the link is comprised of. When we send the link to the victim, this is what is inside of the link. If you know this code right here. There are phases to performing a ransomware attack. So after we go through this code, we're going to be compiling the ransomware and localizing it in the project folder, renaming it 
customer underscore complaint dot pdf dot exe so we're compiling it making sure that there are no errors okay so there are no errors and to make it windows executable it needs to be compiled so uh we're going to be spoofing the file disguising it as a pdf uh and we're going to be disguising it to trick the victim into executing the malware. All right. So now we're going to be starting resource hacker. We're going to be importing the Ryuk ransomware and downloading the PDF icon, adding it to the executable. So adding the PDF icon to the executable is an additional technique to trick the victim into executing Ryuk. So just, ju so this is just a, a common sense. The more attention to detail uh, that the attacker uses, the, the, which it increases the likelihood of an attack being performed successfully. And I want to make this very clear. This is the perspective of the attacker, right? So right now we're in the perspective of the attacker. Soon after, after we, after we do this part, we're going to be starting a local HTTP server uh, because the victim will need to download it from the attacker's host. So that's going to be coming up shortly. And just so you know, I drop on Mondays and Thursdays. So I usually drop the attacker video on Monday and then the prevention or recover method on Thursday. All right. We're starting the local HTTP server. Okay, so we're gonna be using a fake mailer to send the spoofed customer complaint mail to the victim and we're going to be including the disguised ryu down uh, download link so remember so remember earlier in the video the source code we're, we're going to disguise that source code in a link in the mail which is one of the primary so <coughs> sorry which is one of the primary ways that hackers send a ransomware attack through mail So the victim needs to be tricked into thinking it's an official bleeping computer mail. When clicking on the hyperlink, it does open the attacker's host, not Google Docs. So what we're doing is we are entering information in the body so we're, right now this is the process of uh disguising the 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 email that's what this part is right now so i'm just gonna fast forward a little bit we're just showing you what the email is 
comprised of we have the name we have the subject we have our link So now we sent the email, we sent the email to the victim, and now we're waiting for the victim to click on the link. And as can be seen, an HTTP get request is being made to the attacker's web server. So we're gonna be downloading the downloading Ryuk, which means that the victim has now downloaded it. So now we're going to be transitioning from the perspective of the attacker to the victim right now. So what's happening now is we're opening Firefox and we're going to be showing the attacker email and downloading the, the disguised Ryuk ransomware executable. There's the fraudulent email right there. Yep. And that's the customer complaint. That link that you're seeing, that is the disguised ransomware link. We're clicking it and we're downloading it. So now, Ryuk is being executed and we're waiting for the encryption process to finish. Ryuk does not change file extensions, but it does leave .txt when it's done, which is the Ryuk readme.txt. Those are some photos. They're still able to be accessed. However, very soon, the files will be encrypted even though the file extensions did not change. Boom, there it is. Even though the file extensions did not change, these files are encrypted. In this example, Windows cannot open the images anymore because they are corrupted. So the some many of the files are encrypted even though the extension did not change. Now this is the content of the Ryuk readme.txt and we're going to give you some time to read. So Ryuk is one of the most silent uh, ransomware attacks because there is no big hoopla. There is no uh, you have been encrypted text. The file extensions don't even change. So now we're going to be demonstrating the encryption on more files. What's interesting is it even overrides the content of Excel files. 
and corrupts them at the same time. You see that? Encrypted with a strong algorithm? Do you see that? Let's rewind that one. Let's rewind that one more time. Up here. Encrypted with a strong algorithm. Could you could you could you imagine that? Could you imagine that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is one of the more interesting ransomware attacks because this, to me, appears a little bit subtle, a little bit silent. You think that your files are still able to execute because you can see the file extension. However, it is not. So now we're gonna reboot to see, we're gonna restart the computer to see if the Riot ransomware attack uh, uh, persists. Which in many cases, it does. The files will still be encrypted and Ryuk is persistent. Wow, 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 wow. That was so interesting. That was the Ryuk ransomware attack. However, don't flip your lid. Don't lose control because I have a, a recovery and prevention method video for the Riot ransomware attack. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button right below the video and subscribe by clicking the big red button uh, right below the video. Also click the notification bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications when I upload new videos. Lastly, please feel free to watch other videos on this channel. Stay safe, hack, pack. Please feel free to watch, like, and comment other videos on this channel. Subscribe now.